Hi, it's Jill from the professional services team at firewalls.com here to show you how to add an interface in your sonic wall firewall. It is very important to create additional physical networks for greater isolation and segmentation. To achieve this, we will start with an interface. The interface defines the network subnet and will act as a default gateway for all interconnected devices on the network. Be sure to also check out my video about creating a custom zone where I briefly went over simultaneously creating a custom zone and an interface to attach the zone to. Very well, let's begin by navigating to network. Oh, this is my TC270 at the left, by the way. Navigate to network, system, interfaces. And here you will see your current interfaces on your firewall. For my lab, I have an XO LAN, X1 WAN configured. Now in my previous custom zone video that I mentioned, I had already defined a zone. So we are going to go ahead and use that zone in this example. I see here that my X2 is unassigned. There is no configuration, no link. I'm going to go ahead and hit the editing pencil. Here you have two fields to enter, zone and mode IP. I know that I want this to be on its own isolated zone, a zone I've previously created in my custom zone video. And I also have an IP, um, a static IP that I'd like to give to this interface. Um, so a fixed IP. So let's go ahead and answer my custom zone. Here, um, I would keep it as static IP mode and you will be prompted to enter the IP. I'm going to do 10.210.1. My subnet mask will be uh, slash 24. Uh, and when you enter this IP address, be sure it's not something that you've used uh, for another interface. It has to be its independent network um, for this X2 interface. Um, now everything else here is um, management and user login. I will not need to manage this uh, interface through HTTPS um, and I don't need anyone logging into it uh, from there. Uh, it only needs to be reachable for ping and that is for troubleshooting. I don't need SSH in this case, um, just ping. If you click on the advanced tab, you will see other options. In this demonstration, we don't need any of these. Uh, so I'm just going to hit OK. And there you go. Now you have an X2 interface configuration. It is for your front office zone with a static IP that you chose. Um, the next step here would be to assign this new interface, this new network, a DHCP uh, scope. And you would do that at DHCP server which I will cover in the next video. Like always, subscribe to our channel so you're notified of future video releases and come check us out at firewalls.com where you can find our large selection of top rated security brands and learn more about our managed services.